Hello, hello guys, Kaza here, back with another video. In today's video, we'll be taking out the Mackensen, the brand new tier 5 German battlecruiser, um, added to World of Warship Legends recently, and um, I'm in a division with the Bouvoy, and I'm on the map New Dawn, it's a domination game mode. Alright, let's quickly take a look what we're up against here for Buki, Gera, Leander, Dallas, Helena, Atlanta, so a bunch of cruisers, fire spammers, Hayuga, Mackensen, and California division. So uh, that's an interesting division we've got to worry about. Alright, so yeah, we got the uh, northern spawn just uh, north uh, east of uh, Bravo. And um, yeah, so I like this spawn a lot on this map. Um, you can set up a lot of nice crossfires here as I'm pushing forward to beach on this island right in front of us. Alright, so before we get into this match, I'd like to review the commander that I'm using. It's Franz von Hipper, inspired by Andrew Cunningham and Aslan Shanos, just to try and make these guns as accurate as possible while also getting a little bit of secondary range. So this is more of a hybrid build than anything else. Um, you could go full secondary, that's probably what I would recommend. A full secondary build with uh, Celiacs or Hyde, with um, Franz von Nippa's inspirations, and probably Haruna, if you've got Haruna. Um, if you don't, then uh, I just go with Azalyn um, Chan, also Cunningham, just to make these guns as accurate as possible. Alright, so yes, um, modules I'll be running on this uh, this ship here, the Mackinson, is aiming systems mod 1 and uh, damage control systems in the second slot to produce fire duration and uh, flooding durations, um, you know, just to prevent as little, um, as much damage as we can from fires and floods, we don't want to take any more damage than we absolutely need to. Alright, so yes, yeah, we take our first shots there had the broadside Hayuga, unfortunately we didn't get very good dispersion, so we missed most of our salvo. He is on fire already, so um, we would like to hit the Fabuki next if we can spot him. We take aim at the Fabuki there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get one or two resets off the Fabuki there. Looks like he is turning slightly, but we managed to get a reset off him. Very, very nice. Only 1000 damage or something, so that's at least something that we got off the Fabuki. Alright, so we see the Hayuga popped up again, but he is behind the island, so we won't be able to take a decent shot at him. Not quite yet. Um, the Fabuki is being gunned down by. Um, I believe a cruiser there, uh, I'm not sure. I am taking a shot to the Fabuki again before he disappears. And hopefully we'll be able to hit him at least with something. And we, yeah, we get three three other pens and two resets of the Fabuki. Perfect. Very, very nice. So we managed to take off like 4,000 something off the Fabuki. That's very, very nice. And unfortunately we lose our Fabuki to the enemy Helena on Charlie, which is uh, unfortunate. So, um, we only have one destroyer left, which is my division mate in the Bavoy. Alright, so we take aim at the Hayuga there. Unfortunately, we uh, get some pretty bad shell grouping there. We only get one over pen of his broadside. And uh, my division mate is also pinging the enemy team to um, get our friendlies to start focusing on the destroyer when he was spotted. And now we're going to have to focus on the Leander or on the... Ayuga. So I'd rather get the Helena out of there as I, uh, sorry, the Leander out of there because I don't want any uh, shells from the Leander to hit my destroyer division mate. I want to save him and help him out where I can. Well, that was a pretty nice salvo. 10 something K off the uh, Leander there as we get off 3 resets, so that's very nice. So we're up to 6 resets and uh, 18 shells hit for 20,000 damage so far. Yeah, so this is a very nice uh, position that I like to like to keep, uh, like to hold. Um, North of the Bravo cap here on a New Dawn is um, something that I feel is uh, ideal for setting up crossfires, especially from the crossfires into Alpha. When the enemy team pushes like that, as you guys just seen there, they uh, push like crazies. And uh, they started to pay the price. Alright, so now I'm just relying on my division mate in the... <laughs> And then avoid to uh, top the uh, Leando, or at least chase him out of his smoke screen, so I can hopefully help him finish him off, and then we don't have to worry about that anymore. All right. So yeah, this game is pretty slow, but um, so far it's pretty slow, but it will get pick up a little later on in the match, as we're just sitting here patiently waiting for the um, Leander to pop up. All right, Leander had to get out of his smoke there because of the torpedoes, so um. We see he is moving forward, so we just lead him slightly towards the left, as that's the only way he could turn. Because there's an island blocking him if he wanted to beach that way. 
as we finally decide to start moving from our position, our crossfires is more or less over now, and we completely missed the Leander, unfortunately. But that's okay, um, we'll see a Dallas just south of the Bravo cap here, that'll probably be our next primary target. And um, our team looks like to be taking control of Bravo now. So there goes the Leander, Helena finishes him off. And uh, now there's a Dallas that we need to worry about here, wanting to push into the Bravo cap. Alright, so... Dallas, quick reloading guns, um, no torpedo, so we don't have to worry about a torpedo threat here. And uh, one thing to note about the Mackinson is also uh, Mackinson and the Flinger are the two uh, new battle cruisers in the line um, that don't have torpedoes. You get torpedoes only at the uh, at the Prince Heinrich at tier 6, and then the Zeten has torpedoes, and then the Prince Ruprecht at tier 8 also has torpedoes. So, um, yeah. Um, Dallas and Southern Dragon just traded there for some reason. I don't know why the Southern Dragon would be sitting broadside to a Dallas, but he did. Anyways, he's dead now, so we don't have to worry about the Dallas anymore. And now we see a California that needs to be taken care of, and um, now this is where the match starts to pick up a little pace. So we get nine and yeah, nine thousand two hundred and forty-four of the Cali there. Very nice, three over pens, two pens, so at, at least something we got off from there. All right, so. Now we're going to angle in slightly, we don't want to uh, show too much of our broadside. Alright, now we angle back out to try and get our rear gun involved. But look at that nice shell gripping, guys, off that uh, front tower that we got there. Oh, beautiful, almost 17k that we got off the California there. Well, we only lost like 4,500, maybe 5,000 in return. So that's a very nice... Uh, Salvo that we got there, so we're out trading this California at the moment. And now we're unspotted, so uh, now we just got to be very careful. There's a battleship behind me, my division mate is coming in to help me cap Bravo as well. And uh, we also have the friendly Helena uh, behind us. Alright, so we take off another 6k off the California there. And uh, yeah, we are uh, really showing this guy um, that you should not be setting broadside to us. And uh, for some reason he's continuing to hold his broadside line. I'm not quite sure what his intention is there. But uh, we will we will punish him for his mistake. And uh, hopefully we will be able to finish him off pretty soon here. It just resets us with two seconds left on the cap. Which is unfortunate. But luckily my division mate got into the cap now. So um, we don't have to worry about uh, not getting the cap. As my division mate will definitely be able to uh, stay, uh, stay unspotted and get the cap. Alright, so the friendly California manages to uh, finish off the California there. And uh, we're plane spotted now by the California, I believe. It's California's plane, so now we did see incoming fire coming our direction. So there's only three ships left, um, so we've got to be pretty in uh, attentive here. Oh, that creates a Helena, so it's not a dis a dis uh, ship with uh, torpedoes. So we take aim at the Helena there. With that nice shell gripping, hopefully we'll be able to do some serious damage to him. Wait for it, wait for it. Citadel, boom, dev strike, and that's the end of the Helena. Back to port for you. Alright. Up next, we see a friendly Mackinson running a green camo. Um, you don't see those green camos very often, and I particularly don't like them, so I have zero problem sending this guy back to port as well. <laughs> um, uh, so yeah, we'll be uh, taking aim at him next, and um, with uh, hopefully with uh, get some nice shell grouping, and we'll be able to uh, punish him for sailing broadside to us. Yeah, 6k, we'll take that definitely. Um, now he's slipping in behind the island, so there's not uh, that much that we can do to him at this particular point in time. It looks like there's only the cruiser and the battleship left, the uh, Mackinson and uh, another unspotted cruiser that was last seen east of Charlie. So we're not quite sure where he is, but he will be next on the kill list as soon as he pops up. Alright, so there he is in it's Atlanta all the way up there in the north. So uh, we swing our guns around and we take aim at the Atlanta, extend the lead a little bit, and then we take aim at him. So we managed to get the high caliber there with 15,000 and a citadel of the uh, Atlanta there, very very nice. So yeah, now we got our dev strike and our um, high caliber medal so far. And now my division mate in the Bavoy is rushing this Mackinson, because um, he also wants some XP and... Um, he wants to test out this the uh, 
torpedoes that he got on the Bouvoy here, as I believe this is one of his first matches in the Bouvoy, so he's still testing out the waters in the boat. And I'm here to help him uh, try and get off his torpedo strike at the Mackinson. But unfortunately, I didn't aim that properly. I saw the Mackinson was turning out, but I didn't lead him appropriately, and I lost um, all of my shells uh, in that salvo without doing any significant damage to the Mackinson. Alright, so he is turning to try and avoid the torpedoes, I believe, and uh, all of my division mates' torpedoes missed, unfortunately. As he was still trying to figure out how to torpedo in the Bavoy, and... Um, yeah, so that's uh, unfortunately the end of the, my division mates. I can't do much to help him here. Oh, we get a Confederate medal there. Very, very nice. And uh, yes, I believe the Mackinson second race will finish off the Bavoy. Yeah, and that's uh, nothing I can do to save my division mate there. Unfortunately, he pushed way too aggressively and he committed. And uh, his torpedoes didn't connect, so he paid the ultimate price, unfortunately. All right, so yes, Mackinson is still holding that angle. Um, we see the... Uh, Mackinson is just trying to run away from us at this particular point in time. Oh nice, our friendly California manages to finish off the Atlanta, so that only leaves us Mackinson left. Alright, I won't watch you guys uh me what I won't force you guys to watch me chase this Mackinson around the map for the next four minutes. I'll just cut to the end of this match and I'll see you guys when we reach the scoreboard. Alright, so we're here at the scoreboard, we managed to finish off the Mackinson and uh, we finished off the match on 121,000 damage, Confederate High Caliber and Dev Strike on that Helena, very very nice, for a base XP of 2,843 for 2 kills. Yeah, very nice match by our team there and we, I think we all played, uh, pulled our weight for the most part, unfortunately um, we didn't get the, um, the Dreadnought medal there, but uh, we didn't take enough incoming fire to uh, get the Dreadnought medal there, but that's okay. I think we had a pretty good match in the Mackinson here. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.